Hey there guys, it's me Samantha from SS Twins. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm like making these tiny little eminent things uh, with characters from the anime Oran High School Host Club. I'm doing all seven of the characters. I was in my head I always think there's six, but really there's seven. And it's because they add in Haruhi. They did that sort of thing to their color scheme too, where they'd have people who were like in colors of two, like two people with red hair, two people with blonde hair, and then like the one person like Haruhi with like brown hair, which I thought was really cute. But um, I've made these kinds of tiny charms once before. I made Yoon Bum and Sang Woo with Sarah to give to a friend, um, and they were a lot easier to do than these ones were. I don't know, I think it's because I haven't drawn most of the Oran people before now. So this is my first time drawing them. I've drawn Haruhi like once, I've drawn Kyoya like a, a handful of times, and I drew Tamaki once but it wasn't very good, uh, and I drew Honey for a friend. But I've, I never drew Hikaru Karu even though I love them. Hello twins, yes. <laughs> Which that was a big shock, but they have really weird hair, so I understand why. Never drew Mori, uh, no offense if you're a Mori fan, I thought, I thought he was like okay, but he also has like a generic anime boy haircut, you'll see him as he arrives. Now, I had to pause to look up some references of him, because I didn't even know what he looked like. I'm sorry, Mori! I liked you in the show! Here he comes. Everybody has, like, it's so nice. This was easy to draw because they all have the same outfit. Like, I had to draw those little skinny ties a lot. Uh, here comes Tamaki, who has a very strange hairdo that took me a while to try and get to look like him and it doesn't really look like him until I add the color. He just looks like a really weird random boy. I don't know, his hair is very distinctive, but it's it's really hard to draw. Like some people's like Hikaru and Karu, the instant you put it down you're like, ah, wonderful. But like Tamaki and Haruhi, I don't know, it didn't really look like them. Uh, here comes Kyoya, drawing him off the frame, but I, he ended up being a little too small because I was squeezing him on the bottom. I don't know why I did that, so now he's like a little tiny compared to everybody else, but it's okay. We still love you, Kyoya. He's the only Oran guy I've cosplayed, so like, I respect him, even though I made him tiny by accident. Now, like, they're not all tiny. Here they are so you can see their actual size. And then I kind of breeze through the coloring because it's kind of hard to see because they didn't zoom in because I was coloring them all. Mostly at the same time, like I'd go and do all the blues at once, and then I went and did all their ties at once and whatever, so. So I don't know if I explained this, but like what I'm doing with these is I'm going to color them all in, they're gonna be like tiny little things, and then I'm gonna like self laminate them on this like clear kind of thick tape. So that way then I'll, I'll have them. They're really, they're small though, they're not like keychains. And they're like too large to be like phone charms. So I don't really know what you'd call what these are. Just like a little tiny, they're almost like finger puppets, but they're not for your fingers. Just little people. Just little, little Oran people. I don't know. I got like possessed. And the, 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 the demon that possessed me said, you have to draw all of the Oran people and you have to make them into tiny charms. And so that's what I did. Here comes the tiny ties. <laughs> and then I kind of, I kind of zoom in because a lot of that you couldn't really see what was happening. There they are. They did the same thing they did with the hair, with the eyes. Like, two of them have brown eyes, two of them have yellow eyes, two of them have gray eyes, and then Tamaki's the only one with blue eyes. Nobody has green eyes. I don't know. They gave Hikaru and Karu yellow eyes. I wouldn't ask questions. They might be demons. So here we go on the cutting them out. I go through and I cut out each one, and then I go through, I put on the tape on the front and back side, and then I cut them out again. So, like, there's gonna be a lot of cutting happening for, like, the next six minutes. Here's Kyoya, I'll cut out. He was the easiest because his hair is actually like round like a bowl and then Haruhi was also pretty easy. The more hair spikes someone had, the harder they were to cut out because the, the same demon which told me to make these told me you have to cut out each individual little hair spike so that way the, the outline follows the character. So. Hikaru and Karu definitely had the weirdest shape and like uneven hair spikes since they took like the longest. I have scissors that are smaller than these which probably would have been better to use but they're at home and at my college so I had to use my only pair of scissors that was available. Here's Honey. I think Honey has a very distinctive look. It's funny because his hair and his hair is 
quite similar. And here's a lighting change because it's starting to rain and it got dark outside, so I had to turn on my overhead light. Also, in the break I took in between them, I forgot how to cut them out, but I think Haruhi looks okay because she was pretty easy. You know those like soap cutting videos? I feel like this is like a like a like a like paper cutting, Oron host club cutting. It's therapeutic. It's like how the show is really it's like it's just a very fun, like comedic, nice show. The show's like therapeutic, so I think the paper cutting is therapeutic. Uh we arrived to the boys who take the longest, Hikaru and Karu. I'm so sorry. Yeah, they <laughs> took like twice as long as everybody else because I had to keep going in and doing more details on their hair. Also, my leg is like creeping in on the bottom because I had to get really close to the camera. I, I forgot how I positioned myself for the ones before I had to go turn on the light, and so then my leg creep in. And then I <laughs> added a few more details to Karu because I wasn't really satisfied. Oops. <laughs> Even though it already. One time. Last one for the first round of cutting. Now they all have the little, little white li outline around them. We're gonna sweep it clean and then I start putting them on the tape. I, here they are arranged in like the groups of like two. I took a picture in case I messed them up with the tape, but I didn't, so they're fine. One of the things I did with like the eyes is I wanted them to be like looking at their like respective like show partners. So that'll be, you'll see that later. But here they are going on the tape. I had to put Tomoki in his own tape because the one strip of tape I had wasn't long enough. So they kind of look like like stickers right now, like you could pull them off, but you can't because they're just paper and here they come to be laminated. But I feel like that seems like a reasonable way to make stickers, I don't know. It'd have to be different than that, but... I just want them to be protected, like I don't want them to get hurt with the elements. But they look really cute when they're all in the line. I'm kind of a big fan, even though Tamaki didn't make it onto the strip with everybody else. This stage of the process was a lot easier because I didn't have to be quite as precise because they already had like the really close outline so I could do it a little like loosey goosey. And I, the first one I went kind of based on level of difficulty, but this time I'm just going based on the random order I put them down on the like strip in. So. Even Hikaru and Karu don't get to be cut out next to each other, because next we cut out Haruhi. They're really fun when they have the laminate. Like they get very they get very like shiny and they feel nice in your hand. They make like a very pleasant sound. There we go. Now the boys can be reunited. Yeah, this stage definitely took a lot of the time. But honestly, what took me like two to three hours and this wasn't even doing like the tiny drawings or having to figure out how to draw the ore on people, it was cutting them out all twice, but I think it makes them look really cute, so it was worth it. And Kyoya, who I did first, comes last. And he's so small that it was even easier. Sorry, Kyoya. There he is! So here they are! And now I try and do some like epic montage type things with them, but I don't really succeed. <laughs> kind of throwing them down. They make a really like pleasant noise, like they sound really fun when you when you clink them around. And I feel like I could mess with them because they're they're not gonna you know, fall apart. Here, here's the sound. Maybe you'll be able to hear it. And now that they are all finished, here they are in their groups of two. Um, we have Honey Mori, they kind of are looking at each other. Hikaru and Kaoru are looking at each other. Tamaki and Haruhi are looking at each other. And then we have 
Kyoya, who's like a runner, but theoretically you could replace Haruhi with him. And now let us recreate the first episode of Oran High School Host Club. Welcome to the Oran Host Club. We have so many different types of hosts. We have uh, the boy Lolita, the cool type, the 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 mischievous twins, the twincest, uh, the 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 other cool type, and me, the prince type. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wound up in the wrong room. I'm just gonna leave now. To Christian, <laughs> Haruhi, you broke the vase that was for our host club. That vase cost nine million yen. Yen. Now, you must. You cost nine million yen, and you must repay your debt to the host club by working as a host. It doesn't matter if people see me as a boy or a girl. All, uh, <laughs> oh, Haru, he's a girl. We have to protect her. I've been called. I've been called back to France. No, Tamaki, I love you. Oops, spoilers. Anyway, that's probably not even what happened. And lots of stuff in the middle. It's really hard being twins. People don't respect you. Mori, give me my cake. No more cake. And then. Uh, Oh, it's a, an intriguing notion in its own way. <laughs> Welcome to the Aron House Club! And then our, he ends our episode with an inspirational quote. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. What matters is that everyone has a swaggy boy living inside. <laughs> These little guys were so fun, like I can't quite express to you like the joy and satisfaction I have from just having them sitting on my desk, but I don't know, they're so cute, they're just, they're tiny, they're so small, and as you can see my, my episode one went over great so I could make more funny videos with them if you guys would be interested, if you watched Orin High School Club, uh, like, comment, subscribe for more tiny things, um, welcome to the host club, I guess, this is, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, bye!